Hello everybody, Paul Richards here, Director of Business Development. Hi guys, I'm Andy Chatfield, I'm the Head of Tech Support here. And uh, today is our very first Tech Support Tuesday, where we go over tech support questions that Andy's been fielding the, this week. Yep, so I figured uh, for this being the first episode, we would start with just going over the knowledge base on ptcoptics.com. So um, I just want to show you guys where to find the knowledge base and everything like that. Yeah, so it looks like it's that one there. Um, so this is the home page. This is the home page, ptcoptics.com. The knowledge base is up here in the upper right. There's, you can see the knowledge base link here. If you click that, it's going to take you into our knowledge base here. You can see we have eight folders. Streaming, camera control, USB extension, camera tools, third-party integration, other products, camera issues, and general Q&A. Um, the streaming folder is obviously going to have all the articles having to do with the IP output of your camera, how to set up your IP addresses, how to figure out what range your, your network's IP range is, um, how to add audio to the IP stream, all sorts of different articles about streaming with the PTC Optics cameras and how to achieve it. Um, after streaming, we come to camera control. Again, this is just all the different articles having to do with the different ways and methods of controlling your PTZ Optics camera, whether it be Visca control, serial, IP control, IR control, UVC control. There's all sorts of different ways to control the camera. A lot of these articles go over all the different ways and how to achieve it. We have USB extension, where we go over the different ways that we extend the USB 3 signal from the cameras to your computer, the different um, extenders we recommend, how to actively manage using those extenders on a Windows machine or things like that. There's a few different things we recommend in these folders. It's a good thing to take a look at if you're looking at extending the USB from your camera. Camera tools are just our basic user manuals, data sheets, some downloads that you can get like the IP address setting tool and um, Extron Crestron modules for PTZ Optics. Third party integration is probably the biggest folder here. Whoops. This is basically, I will write up a new article for each piece of hardware or software I will test with the cameras. There's all sorts of stuff in here about different VTCs, Wirecast, vMix, uh, Zoom. TriCaster. TriCaster. There's all sorts of different software and hardware solutions that we've tested with the cameras. And not only all of them, we don't just post the ones that work with the cameras. We'll post ones that don't work as well just to give you guys as much information as, as you can have for um, making your project work correctly. Other products is um, we don't just sell the PTZ cameras here, PTZ Optics. We have a few other products. We have an IP um, joystick, and we also have the PT Broadcaster that is a PT head for putting a broadcast camera onto and giving it PT function functionality. Um, so we have some articles about those things in the other products. Camera issues is a folder for any issue that I run into that I feel deserves a knowledge base article. Um, Usually it gets pointed out to me by customers just like yourselves, or it might be something I found out while testing in-house. Um, but these are all issues that you might run into with the cameras and solutions or at least explanations for why things are the way they are. And then we just have the general Q&A. This is basically a folder that I created just when something didn't quite fit into the other seven folders. Um, I just kind of threw it in here. There's some general mounting questions. There's how much luminance the cameras have. There's going over the OSD. I actually have the full specs of the, the power supply we use for the camera in case you ever need to replace one. Um, or extend the cable. Or extend the cable. Uh, shortcuts for the camera to either show you the current IP address or default the menu to English if for some reason it's in a different language when you get it. Um, or if you factory re restore your camera and it winds up being in Chinese or something, you can use a shortcut to just kick it back to English. Um, there's all sorts of useful information in the general Q&A that would definitely help you out either pre-buying the camera with just general information about the cameras or once you bought it, if you run into just general things, like I wonder how this works, or I wonder how that is, it's most likely going to be gone over in the general Q&A section. So Andy, let's say someone has got an issue, they've looked through the knowledge base, and they can't seem to find the resolution. So if you've gone through the knowledge base and you can't find what you're looking for, um, most likely, I don't have it in there, what you would want to do 
is click here and put in a new support ticket. Um, this is going to go straight into me. I check the support tickets at least once every half hour or hour while I'm in the office. So most likely you're going to get a response very quickly. Uh, if it's an in-depth problem, I will probably let you know that I'm setting, some, setting aside some time to fully test and try and figure out the problem. But um, this is the best place to just basically get a hold of me and let me know if you're having an issue with the cameras. Because there's one thing we want to do is figure out if there's any limitations and how to solve them. Um, as quickly as possible for our customers. So yeah, and the nice thing about this too is that like it's not just a random email; it's totally tracked in our ticket system. Oh yeah. So it's a very nice yep. way to say ticket solved, you know, ticket unresolved, and we can take it to the next level if we have to. Much easier than just emailing someone your salesperson or something, and then exactly. it gets lost and it's not tracked. Yeah, the tickets are are all tracked, and we don't we don't close a ticket until we've posted a resolution for you. So. So that's all we have today, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is our first Tech Support Tuesday. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel if you think that stuff like this is helpful. We have camera overviews, tips, tricks, and tutorials, and then live streams every Friday. Sometimes Andy's on the live streams. Sometimes I am. Um, we've got a lot of cool stuff, free virtual sets for all of our customers. Even if you're not a customer, we have some basic ones for you. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, guys.